Obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Timothy Howell, Hal Kosher of Florence, formerly of Coleman, passed away Friday at Huntsville Hospital. The family will receive friends at 6 p.m. this evening at Sacred Heart Church, Rosary at 7.30 p.m. Funeral Mass will be at 10 a.m. tomorrow at the church. Reverend Patrick Egan will celebrate. Interment will be in the Sacred Heart Cemetery. Funeral services for Ernest Carl Gravman, 56, of Coleman, will be at 10 a.m. on Wednesday in the Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Interment will follow in Sacred Heart Catholic Cemetery. Father Mike Oswald officiating. Moss Service Funeral Home is directing the arrangements. Funeral services for Kenneth Ray Sonny Hessler, age 63, of Hansville, will be held today at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel, interment in Hopewell Cemetery. Hansville Funeral Home is directing. Funeral services for Willie Jerome Swan, age 50, of Hayden, will be today at 1 p.m. at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel, interment in Garden City Cemetery. The family will receive friends today from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. Hansville Funeral Home is assisting. Those are our obituaries for this Monday, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. On Your Own Home Furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens. Offering bedroom furnishings, including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings, including sofas, lugs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. I sell paintings of cats. I sell antique cameras. I sell mufflers. Surfboard stemware. I have no idea how to pack this. I need help. I need experts. It's fragile. Can you be trusted? The UPS store pack and ship guarantee. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it. So if anything happens to this, we'll take care of it. I love logistics. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it at the UPS store. Premier Bank presents Today on 2 on Monday the 29th of September. How about that? I know. It <laughs> seems like September's just flying by the last two days of the month. Well, that's already. right. It's almost over. It really <laughs> is. And October's going to be right yeah. around the corner and all kinds of goodies are happening in October, <laughs> huh? See, was it last, last Sunday that fall officially began? Well, actually, it no, or it was the 22nd. 22nd, yeah, okay. It was last Tuesday that the fa Tuesday. fall officially, actually Monday night, Tuesday morning okay. kind of thing, but that's when it officially started, yes. So, anyway, so what what about this weather today? I know. it. You, you were just saying a few minutes ago that at your house you didn't get any rain, and then I know at mine this morning I woke up and it was sprinkling a little bit, mm -hmm. but it had been pretty wet, so I know it had to have rained at least a little bit. I but. guess. I don't know if it rained at my house. I had a little, <laughs> little umbrella over my yard, which I really needed the rain but oh well <laughs> anyway well speaking of the weather let's yeah. take a look at the weather uh, and as always the weather is brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet make the switch to Mitch 
Today on September the 29th, the average high is 81 with an average low of 53 degrees. The record high is 97 in 1954 and the record low was 37 in 1942. Sunset today is going to be at 6.34 p.m. and sunrise tomorrow will be at 6.40 a.m. Now the radar, it looks like there's some, uh, some rain yeah. moving through. Some activity there. <laughs> Let's take a look at the forecast. All right, today it's going to be 81 degrees with some showers this morning, uh, about a 50% chance of showers. And then tonight it's supposed to be clear with a 0% chance of rain and a little cloudy tomorrow at 84 degrees. Then moving through the week, we've got a little bit of a chance of rain on Thursday and Friday, but the temperatures are going to be in the 70s and low 80s, it looks like, and then hopefully going to have a pretty dry weekend with no rain, so that'll be nice. Yeah, that would nice be very for once. good. Yeah, definitely. So, let's see, not this week, but, well, actually on Saturday, uh, Oktoberfest. Starts. Begins. Yes, this it Saturday. does. It does. And, of course, participating restaurants are going to have their German food available. Miss Oktoberfest contest and the Polka Party will be on October the 5th. Events going on at the Fest Hall, Depot Park, the Loft, downtown Coleman, and much, much more. Go and participate. You know, I went to church Sunday morning, and magically, the hay people had appeared over the weekend. <laughs> Saw them right there on 31 and 278, you know. It's just like, okay, where do these people come from? <laughs> they just grow, you know, all of yeah, a sudden I they're saw, there. I think it was on Facebook. I saw Nancy Moore, who does a lot with yes. Oktoberfest. She was yeah. talking about how I think her husband and father-in-law maybe uh, we're putting together the final final couple of hay people this weekend, okay. getting those ready. I always enjoy seeing them. It was her mother that originally started okay. the hay Did people many, many years ago. And, of course, Pat Clemens mm -hmm. was her name, and she's not here anymore. But uh, it's nice to see they've carried on that tradition. And every year I kind of look forward to seeing the hay people, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. So, hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so go participate in Oktoberfest. Should There's be a just good time. A, yeah, lots going on. It should be decent weather, I hopefully, and then everybody can have a lot of fun. It will. I know that St. John's is having their dinner. They are on um, Monday the sixth, mm -hmm. and, and then also St. Paul's is having Saint a dinner. St. Paul's, St. John's, St. Paul's. Uh, I was looking this weekend. Their Sacred Hearts also having a dinner. Right, right. So several of the churches do some mm -hmm. dinners, and plus all the big restaurants that you know do it. Some of those you have to have reservations, mm -hmm. you know. So you, if you're interested, look ahead. But uh, I think it's going to be a. It's fun. It's very well. fun. I know. Yeah. Starting on Friday here at Channel Two, we've got a uh, guest from Oktoberfest going to be coming just about every day until the end of it. We've got the Burgermeister coming up first uh, okay. this Friday to talk about just kicking things off and yeah. then next week, different events uh, well, for well, the week. Well, good deal. That'll be interesting then. Should it's be. always a good time of the year and it's time for everybody to get out and mingle and, and, and meet people you haven't, or see people you haven't seen for a while, huh? It is. Yeah. Well, good deal. Well, let's take a look at our Facebook friend. Yes, that's Denise Tuggle and Miss Tuggle likes James Spans and Holy Smoke Barbecue. Well, maybe she'll change her mind and decide she likes Mad Dog once she tastes the barbecue because we're <laughs> going to give her a sandwich. She just needs to come by here first and pick up that certificate. We'll be glad to treat her. Yep. And then I think I was telling you, mm -hmm. right, that on Friday I attended the um, Chamber of Commerce. They used to call them their fourth Fridays. Now they're their their luncheons, their mm -hmm. chamber lunches that they have once a month. And Andy Pilgrim was the guest. Okay. And I was very excited about going to this because, um, of course, just recently, you know, I did do the racetrack <laughs> thing at Talladega. And a uh, very interesting man. He is from England originally, I think from London. He's been here for numerous years now, and he has he applied for his citizenship, so he is a United States citizen. And the first thing he said, of course, was that uh, he felt like he had more opportunities in this country than he had ever had any place else, even including England. So he's very proud to be an American. But he has put together, this is a nonprofit organization, the Parent Driving Zone is the name of this um, DVD, and he was offering it up to anybody that wanted it, anybody that... Um, you know, uh, church groups or schools or anybody like that or individuals. I'm sure, let's see, you could go to his website, www.andypilgrimfoundation.org or www.andypilgrim.com. So either one of those would be good. But this is really, I think, something I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but just listening to him talk, mm -hmm. the name of the thing is the Parent Driving Zone. And he says that children 
okay? Mimic their parents way much more than you think they do. They watch what you're doing, and the minute that you flip that car seat around and you let them say, uh, look forward, they start watching you. They're watching you text. They're watching you eat while you're driving. They're watching you putting on your makeup. They're watching you being distracted, being on the phone. These are all bad, bad things. He says 80% of automobile accidents are caused by people that are distracted. I don't believe that. And, it, you know, that's kind of his statistics, but he has done a lot of research. Mm -hmm. He gave us a PowerPoint slide, and it just, but he's talking about how you as a parent are responsible for how your children drive. There's so many issues out there. And driving and uh, is one of the, um, let's see, um, the leading causes of death, accident, auto accidents are one of the leading causes of death in teens. People, parents put oh, all kinds of stuff out there, and it was, it was driving. It's either one or two, first or second. So you've got to be very, very careful what you do. And this just gives you some really good tips on things that you can do to avoid accidents, but also things that you should know about for your kids. It even goes into, I think, uh, newborns to children in booster okay. seats, uh, parents with middle age school, for parents with a child just starting to drive on a permit and doing supervised driving, and for parents with a child who has obtained a full license so you know this is really great it seems to cover all the it really does essential driving and safety information for parents with children of all ages so i just we might be able to air this eventually Hopefully. it'll be a standalone thing because i think it probably lasts about an mm -hmm. hour but it's probably the best hour you'll have spent is watching <laughs> this video if you have children you know yeah, and it seems like it's a really good thing for them the earlier the better mm -hmm. because if you wait till they're in high school They've had, They'll already have their habits yeah, by then. That's right. Ten years of, well, more than that, of watching <laughs> you drive, which might be pretty bad, especially if my kids are watching me <laughs> drive. But anyway, so just wanted good to talk deal. about that. I thought that was a really good uh, presentation for the chamber. And, I look forward to seeing it myself now. Yeah, it's, it's good. Well, who is our guest for today? Well, we uh, have visited with Mr. Gary Murphy, who is running for the coroner again. Uh, he's the incumbent, and visited with him. I guess Dennis did, mm -hmm. okay, and so did a little recording of that. So we're going to watch that after we go through the regular things here on Today on Two. All right, well, we'll be back in just a minute to try to give away some prizes, so stay tuned for more Today on Two right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. As a local auto owner's independent agency, we are dedicated to assisting you in your time of need. We live and work right in your community, and we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Fortunately, emergencies don't happen every day, but when they do, we're here to personally see you through. For life, home, car, and business insurance, call us, your local independent auto owner's agent today. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. And we're back. We are back. So it's time to try at least to give away some prizes, yeah. but we've got some good ones for today. So let's take a look and see what we're going to give away today. We've got two free tacos with any purchase from Casa Cafe. And we've got a free round of golf from Chesley Oaks Golf Course. And then one more. We've also got a large five topping pizza from Coleman Pizza Hut. So pay attention to the merchant ads that we're going to show and we'll ask a question in just a minute about one of those. 
Starting with Cotton State Barnes of Coleman, you can buy or rent to own. No credit check, you're approved. Barns start at $14.96. They are located on 278 West, just past I-65. And Mr. X Menswear and Formal Wear, Coleman's only men's specialty store for spoots, suits, and sport coats. Ask about their free groom's tux rental or special group pricing for men's suits and accessories in out-of-town groups of us are no problem at Mr. X Menswear. Pizza Hut of Coleman, they have an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet on every day of the week. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., but now they also have a Sunday night buffet from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., and that is only $6.49. Brown and Company Beverages, where good taste begins. That's right next to, actually, between two car dealerships now. They have a huge variety, domestic imports. A friend of mine was talking about that just the other day. Really? What a great uh, variety they have. They are. Tires for Less has Bridgestone and Firestone tires, and they're more than just tires. They also offer oil changes and more. Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store. Live folk music, baked goods and smoothies. Of course, great, complete espresso bar. And on Friday, October the 3rd, Austin Cunningham will perform, and on Monday the 6th, it's open mic night. And Deb's Bookstore already had their book signing, but she is located just right down the road. Uh, she has new books and used books, and she always offers a discount on those new books. And Jolly Time Rentals for Fun is always in the air. Licensed inflatable slides, water slides, obstacle courses, bounce slide combos, and concession equipment rentals available at Jolly Time Rentals. Grand Point Pharmacy, coffee, and gifts. They do have that gift shop with Alabama and Auburn stuff as, long as, as well as some cookies and coffee and just a ton of other things. It always smells good when you go in there. It really does. <laughs> All right, well those were the first round of merchant ads. So the question for today is about one of our advertisers. And the question is, which of our advertisers offers a day pass? And then this day pass is also conveniently a prize that you can win one day a week uh, yeah. here on Today on Two. Yeah. So which of our advertisers offers a day pass? And you can call in at 256-734-7399 with the answer. And let's see, while we wait on the call, we're going to take a look at Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. Hello, you all. I'm Rusty. And this is Caitlin. And we both work at Premier Bank of the South. Caitlin, can you tell everybody about opening checking accounts through the bank? Yes. For first-time customers, we offer um, checking accounts and savings accounts. Uh, you have to have a state driver's license, and we do pull credit as a first-time procedure. It is $100 to open a checking account. That is a transaction-based account. You have a debit card and checks that you can use to make your debits. Um, you offered an unlimited amount of deposits and an unlimited amount of transactions. So if you have automatic draft, you know, automatic deposit, th those things are fine. We also offer a savings account. It is $10 to open. Um, but that's not really a transaction account. Um, you're allowed six withdrawals per quarter, but you're allowed to make as many deposits as you would like. But that's because we earn a little bit of interest in those, and those are used typically for, for savings. Um, it earns a .20 interest rate. So come by and check us out. We have a lot of good folks, just like Caitlin, who help guide you through what you need. We'll talk to you and fit, decide whether a savings account is what you need or a low base, low transaction checking account or whatever. Uh, and we have multiple locations too. Okay, can we let everybody know how to find us? Yes, um, you can go to our website, premierbankofthesouth.com, and you can find all of our 10 locations on there and also our bank phone number if you have any questions. We look forward to seeing everybody. All right, well, we do have a caller on the line, so let's see if we can get an answer. Hello? Hello? Hi, who's calling? Uh, Gail. All right, Gail, what, uh, which of our advertisers offers a day pass? Is it the Aquatic Center? Yes. That is right. Good job. We'll stay on the line, we'll get your information, and we're going to take a look at some more merchant ads. Yeah, probably one of the, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that one. Yeah. Starting with Farmers Insurance, Agent Tommy Warhurst. He's located next to Specialty Pharmacy, and you can call him today for your free quote. His website is thewarhurstagency.com. And Mad Dog, Mike's Famous Barbecue, right there in the Berlin Quick Stop area on Highway 278 and County Road 747, offering barbecue in a family package for just $14.99. 
The Fit Fitness facility is in downtown Coleman next to Renard's Gallery. Membership is $100 per month and that includes a free personal trainer and it is month to month with no contracts. And Dairy Queen is still featuring the pumpkin pie versus apple pie blizzard of the month. You go choose to take a bite of both and just try to decide or actually eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> And there's the Wellness and Aquatic Center. They do offer day passes, like we said, and they have a ton of fitness opportunities, including their six-lane competition pool, full the, fitness center, and more. There's the Casa Cafe, specials every day, tacos, fajitas, burritos, and much more. A buffet featured every Friday and Sunday, located at 509 Main. And Frosting's Bakery, they have different flavors every month, and this month you only have a couple of days left, but they have cinnamon rolls, Snickers, Monkey Breath, and Neapolitan. Flavors. Ooh, that sounds good. If I want that monkey breath, I better go get one. Huh? Better go. Earl's Body Shop voted best automotive repair in Coleman Large and Small Towing available local or long distance. 24 hour towing available located right there on Highway 31 North. And Chesley Oaks Golf Course is open from 7 to 7, seven days a week. And they have a eight, full 18 hole golf course, full practice facility, beautifully manicured vent greens, and more. Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them for over 50 years for body, auto body repair and service. And you can count on them today. And they also have towing service at Mullins Body Shop. Steel Orchard has the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. They have over 20 different varieties of apples and they are located at 1695 County Road 1141. And those are our merchant ads for today. So we'll be right back but when we come back we're gonna take a look at some community billboards, see who has a birthday today, and take a look at the weather. So stay tuned. when you're coming back if you win, yeah, right? You're exactly right. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go back and play with you that game a little bit if you will. It's meeting in the regional game um, tomorrow night in the home opener. The Eagles are going to travel to Cordova and Walker County this Friday evening. Looking to remain. Johnny Thornton analyzes Coleman Bearcat football. Coleman County kickoff is set for 7 o'clock this Friday night. Good luck, Coach, to you and Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. In the nation, we worry about fire-breathing monsters. And we worry about spinach. At Nationwide Insurance, we take care of the big things like protecting you, so you only have to worry about the little stuff. We put members first, because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation that doesn't sweat it. Nationwide is on your side. Now it's time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The Donnelly Green Center will be closed September the 20th through October the 5th to strip and refinish the gym floor. They will reopen on October the 6th with regular scheduled programs and they apologize for any inconvenience. And Southern Circuit Tour of Independent Filmmakers is doing their free movie screening on Thursday, October the 9th from 9.30 a.m. until 6 p.m. Mona Lisa is Missing is the name of the film, and there will be a question and answer session with the filmmakers after the screenings. 
and the Common Autism Networking Group will have their uh, fifth annual Making a Difference conference on Friday, October the 24th from 8 until 3. Early registration ends October the 1st. It will take place at the Civic Center. You give them a call at 256-734-9157. And Baylington Junior High is doing Curse of the Pumpkin Run, and that's a 5K run on October the 25th from 9 until 10.30. The run begins at Parkside School and ends at the Town Park. Advanced registration is 20, and the day of the event is 25. Annual Coleman County Combined Choir Church Choir Concert will be on October the 5th at 3 p.m. Sacred Heart of Jesus Catholic Church. Several local choirs will perform. The concert is free and it takes place after the opening ceremonies of the Coleman Oktoberfest. And Sacred Heart of Jesus Annual German Dinner will be taking place on Wednesday, October the 8th in the Family Life Center. Traditional German meal, 5 to 7 p.m. Eat in or take out. $10 for adults, $5 for children. And music by Wolfgang Moritz is available. And if you have a community billboard, you can send it to channel2coleman.com. Give us a call 256-734-7399 or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman, spell out the number 2. And we would like to wish Miss Laura Richter a happy birthday. I don't think that's right. Actually, it should be Jamie White and also Lynn Johnson. And their names will be put into the drawing on Friday where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And let's take a look at the weather one more time. And our weather is brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. It's going to be a good day after it rains a little bit this morning. But it's going to be a very clear night. And then 0% chance of rain tomorrow. So that'll be nice. It will be. Okay. Well, we do want to point out that tomorrow's show is going to have Caitlin Sines from the United Way is going to be on the show to talk about the Girlfriend Gala yeah, that I think they do every year. Yeah. It's United yeah. Way, so she will be here tomorrow. Well, good. But we're going to end the show today by showing our interview that we did with Mr. Gary Murphy, who is running for coroner. So we'll show you that in just a few minutes, and we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to more of Today on Two. We welcome back good friend Gary Murphy. Gary, good to see you again. Good to see you again. It's You're running for coroner. Running again, one more time. Yeah, but this isn't the first time. Give us a little background. No, I, um, I first ran in 1990, served a term, and then I was out for a term, and then ran and served three consecutive terms. So I've, I've been there 16 years, and I'm... I want to make it 20 now. Prior to that, I was uh, assistant to the coroner, served as acting coroner for about 18 years for our previous two coroners. So I've got the experience, I've got the training, got the education, and um, I feel like I, I need one more term. And if, if nothing else, I can train some people mm -hmm. to take over and do a, a really good job. Now tell us why the coroner has to be elected. That seems like a job that would really many people wouldn't want. Okay, the, the, the office of coroner was first started in, in England. Mm -hmm. King George started appointing what he called crowners. They were, and then we, when it came to this country, we changed it to coroner. But uh, they were to watch over the sheriff, hmm. make sure that he did his job, make sure that um, anyone that passed away, the family got their entitlement to it, their estate, and the king got his. So that was his primary job. And in case of a, some, someone's death by unlawful means, well then he had to investigate it and uh, mm -hmm. turn them over to the sheriff then when he found them. We changed it a little bit here in the United States. It's become an elected position. Um, Primarily because there are a lot of things to consider when you vote for a coroner. Not just his capabilities to serve you as coroner, but in the event the sheriff is unable to perform his duties for whatever reason, then the coroner becomes the sheriff. Hmm. Um, I didn't know that. I had one occasion when I was in one of my previous terms when all of the judges were out of town at a convention and for some reason some uh, some of the poll workers had to be sworn in and there was no judge here so 
it falls on the coroner then because oh. the coroner does have the power to administer oath and, and take testimony. Um, huh. If you have an inquest, the coroner is the judge. So, right. yeah. well. Gary, in Alabama, is the coroner elected in all the counties? Uh, all but three. Uh, Jefferson County, um, Tuscaloosa, and Mobile. They use a medical examiner system, mm -hmm. and, um, and, and they're hired. For people who aren't really familiar with the duties of the coroner, it's more than just saying, <clears throat> yes, he's dead. Correct. <laughs> give, give us the whole picture. To, to really be efficient as coroner and, and help people, you need to be able to determine the, not only the person's identity, but the place that he died, the time that he died, and the date that he died on. A lot of times those time and date enter into people's insurance and things like that. And a lot of the coroners today don't do all of that. They just, whenever someone is called out, when they're, when they're called out to a death, as far as they're concerned, that's the day they died. And that's just not, not the way to do it. Um, I had a case once where a man and a woman both were killed in an accident. And we had to determine which one died first because of... Uh, legalities with uh, wills and uh -huh. stocks and bonds and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. wow. So, you know, you've you really got to be able to to tell these things and, 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 and be educated. And I, I imagine also for legal purposes, cause of death. This is something the coroner determines. Correct. Yes, you need to be efficient with the cause of death because that that determines a lot of things. Um, I had one that we researched the cause of death on a child and uh, found that it was genetic and in doing so, along with the help of uh, a doctor in Birmingham, Dr. Embry, um, we traced back and found that um, their other children were susceptible to this same cause of death if they weren't caught in time and so they that helped that family out quite a bit you know just things like that that come up um, helping people with their insurance things like that you, you've got to be accurate you've got to be competent because a lot of times they'll call you to court um, I was challenged in court had to had a civil case in Jefferson County Civil uh, Circuit Court uh, we won our case because the uh, state of Alabama pathological people stood behind me and said, yes, he's correct. And so you, you need to know what you're doing in cases like that also. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> um, the coroner many times is, is called on to um, stand in and take, take the place of a... Um, of a doctor even. Um, I know that on, uh, on a lot of the hospice cases um, in the past, I have served as the certifier on the death certificate. Mm -hmm. Maybe the doctor that handles those patients are out of town this weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, I would stand in and, and handle death certification for them. It's, it's, it's quite an extensive job. It, mm -hmm. It's more than you can tell in, in one meeting, you know. Right. It, there's a lot to it. And most people don't realize what there is to it. Mm -hmm. um, we had some people, especially in South Alabama in the last election, that were elected. And um, one of them, when he, after he was elected, he found out he wasn't old enough to take the job. <laughs> Um, so people really need to research and see what you've got to do and what goes on. Mm -hmm. um, the strange thing is you can be elected governor, I think, at the age of 18. Um, you, can go, you can be elected to the Senate at the age of 18. Sheriff is 18. But the coroner has to be 25. Hmm. They, I don't know. That's uh -huh. Gary, talk a little bit about the continuing education <coughs> of the coroner. Okay. 
15 of the 16 years that I've been coroner, I was on the uh, board of directors. I was the, the director for this district of the state. And we wrote written legislation for different things, and some of it we get passed, some we don't. One that we worked real hard on and got passed was one that requires coroners to have training. Mm -hmm. Up until about eight years ago, you all you needed was to put your name on the ballot and get elected. Um, now, once you are elected, within a certain time limit, you have got to attain 12 hours of death investigation education. And our Coroner's Association offers that every year at a conference. So once you're elected, if you go to the conference every year, you're, you're certified then. Um, I've been out of office now for four years, but I've continued to go and keep up my certification, so I would be qualified if, when, I won't say if, I'll say when I get elected again. Um, we're very proud of the fact that we now have those qualifications, mm -hmm. and um, we plan to expand those in the future so that we'll have more competent people as coroner and we're we're not to the point like some states that have medical examiners in every county yeah mm -hmm. um, alabama looked at that several years ago and they were going to divide the state into districts and and have a medical examiner over like five counties or something like that and still have a coroner but he would be the investigator for that pathologist mm -hmm. and that never never came around it was just too expensive um, the state of Alabama for some reason does not fund the forensic science department like other states do Gary give you a chance to notify the voters why they should vote for you coming up in November well I have the experience I've been in, in the coroner's office serving as coroner or helping the coroner for almost the entire time since 1972 um, I have education I have, I have gone every year for many many years to different classes different uh, different things that people would put on I've been to the state of Tennessee I've studied uh, traffic homicide under the Attorney General in Tennessee uh, I've studied under Dr. Henry Lee who was famous in the the Ramsey case. Also, the uh, his first case was the Lindbergh wow. case many many years ago. <laughs> yes, and um, and I've got his notes on that. Uh, he worked on the Simpson case. Another man that has an influence had an influence on me was uh, Dr. Bill Bass, who was the founder of the Body Farm up in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and we've had several others. We have a different uh, person come every year, a different expert in, in some field of death investigation that comes to our conference every year and, and teaches us different things. Um, we've studied drowning victims, uh, suicide, homicide. I went to one one time that um, was put on by the FBI and uh, the the main man in that training, and I for the life of me I can't remember his name, but he was one of the FBI advisors for the movie Silence of the Lambs. Oh, wow. And so he was, huh. he uh, he educated us in profiling how uh -huh. you certain things you look for to tell what place in life this person probably came from, and that helps a lot. And, Although, you know, you're there some restrictions on profiling today, but yeah. but still we we use it quite extensively. Gary, good to see you again. Thank and you. we'll talk to you again before the election. Okay, good. Okay. It's good to be here. We'll have more today on two right after this. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle. There's baklava to build from scratch, and bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. 
KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sautéing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. On Your Own Home Furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens, offering bedroom furnishings including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings including sofas, lugs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays.